Welcome to Insight, produced in partnership with PBS 39 in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Today we are chatting with Lisa Walkowitz, Executive Director of VIA of the Lehigh Valley, who has generously agreed to share some of her experience with us. I'd like to thank you, Lisa, for joining us today. Very excited to be here. Talk about the range of services and the range of con constituents that you support through your services. The different types of services that we offer, we really focus on employment and helping people find the job um, or the career that they are the most interested in. And a lot of that is driven by the fact that Pennsylvania is an employment first state. And that's an initiative that the governor initiated um, several years ago. And that means that the, the first and desired, most desired outcome for individuals with disabilities is employment so that people can find the job that they want and job uh, employment takes on a different look for for people depending on what their needs are right. so we offer lots of different employment services we offer community employment which is supporting people in a job in the community so whether they're working at Josh Early Candies which is a local candy store that is in the Lehigh Valley or if they're working at Lowe's or at the federal courthouse. It depends on what services they need, but they're working in the community at those places. And we'll provide coaching and support to help them get that job and then keep that job. Um, and the coaching goes for not just the employee, but also the employer. Sometimes it can be a little challenging um, to help to navigate working with an individual with a disability if it's new for an employer. And we're there as a resource to help employers learn what different skills are there, the person is coming to um, for the job. And then we also help the person that is coming to the job learn the skills that they need. So there's always a coach that's available to help with that. And the hope is eventually the coach fades away and then the person is independent in their job with natural support around them. And natural support can be their coworkers, their supervisor, and then other friends and family. So these services are never provided in, in isolation from education through employment. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a lot of partners who help you to provide these services. Talk about your employment partnerships in particular. So we have a lot of employment partnerships across the Lehigh Valley, more than 100 uh, employers that we partner with. We There are people that work at Lowe's and then Giant, uh, at the Wind Creek Casino. Um, and there are people that are that partner with us all over the community. And that is the, f the foundation of how employment services works for us. If there are employers that are interested and willing to hire people with disabilities, and in this economy right now, everybody is hiring and so employers really have to look at hiring different types of people and we really help people employers see the abilities and, and differences and value of looking at individuals with disabilities right. as a valuable part of their organization um, if it weren't for the employment partners that we have there would no, be no place for our participants to work. So for instance, we have a small group employment site over at Cigars International, and there are about 30 or 40 people that we support that work there. Uh, and they have a huge factory, and uh, we're a really important part of their company. Um, they're in, every, peop, our participants are included in everything that they do there, from their ugly sweater contests to their food truck Fridays. And what we have heard from Cigars International is that the, their relationship with us and their relationship with our participants has fundamentally changed how they decide to do business. Um, they have a, their founding partner is somewhere in Scandinavia and he came across uh, a posting that was on our website that featured someone that worked at the Cigars International plant. And he put something out on his LinkedIn page and said, I want all of our companies across the United States to work like this. This is how we should be supporting people with disabilities. And so it's really important that we have strong partnerships with employers um, because they're the foundation of our employment relationships. And you're changing attitudes at the same mm -hmm. time. You're educating us all in the idea of, of who our neighbors are mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. what merit is and, and how to organize work in a way that is communally mm -hmm. good as well as good for business. But right. there is also a responsibility that we all have to make this society a better place. And that's one way to do it. There, ab absolutely. It's really important that when you look to your left and you look to your right, that not everybody is the same. And right. that is how my day at work goes. And that's, that's the reality of our community. And there should be diversity in the workplace. And diversity means a whole lot of different things. It yes. means different ability levels. Uh, and it means different socioeconomic backgrounds. But it's a really important part of where people work in the community.
In terms of your physical facility, mm -hmm. talk about uh, um, how many offices you have, mm -hmm. how many physical locations you actually administer. So we have, um, until recently, we've operated out of one physical location, and about 20% of our their staff are based in that location. The other 80% of our staff are in the community. Are out and about mm -hmm. in the community. Yep. And now you're opening another location in Allentown. Yes, we just opened in January, and we moved our employment services over to that department, over to that office. Um, and there are about 15 to 20 people that use that office. Um, there are several permanent staff that have offices there, but for the most part, our direct service staff are in the field. They're in the field just working with our participants and supporting them out in the community where, where they are experiencing either employment or volunteering at other volunteer sites. What do you see the biggest issues as affecting this field of play into the future? Human resources, quite honestly. We are constantly looking for direct service professionals to fill the vacancies that we have, and it's just because there are more and more people that are coming to us for services. Uh, we are always looking for um, people that are compassionate and caring and really want to help people live their their full potential of life and really connect to the community and it really takes a dedicated direct service professional to do that and unfortunately one of the biggest challenges is that we face because we are federally and government and state funded the there's a direct service professional crisis um, there is a lack of funding. Um, we would like to be able to pay much more robust wages because of the vital work that people do, but we're always looking for um, increases in funding from the state government. Well, this is, it, it's such an important point. You have here a profession that requires a high degree of compassion, mm -hmm. a certain, sometimes a certain physicality. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it requires um, a um, a high degree of education. Mm -hmm. So you have compassion, uh, there are some physical challenges, there's education, right? And then there's this, th th there's sort of a spirit, mm -hmm. which is not just compassion. Right. It's also spirit, right? It's, it's this idea of being a true believer in people, mm -hmm. in people of different abilities, and, um, and being creative in finding ways that uh, people can exercise their abilities. Mm -hmm. um, how do you navigate that given the financial restrictions that you have? Because you can't throw money at the problem, it won't go away. It's it's really challenging. It's We are really building a really strong employee engagement program because we want people to realize how important our staff, how important they are to us. You don't want them leaving we, for other jobs. We don't want them to leave and, and it's really important that they know that we value them. They are the backbone of, of what VIA does and what VIA stands for, helping people live their life of full potential. And Provide it. We provide incredible amounts of training to people. What if they're looking to advance their career and looking to increase their education? We have a great education reimbursement program. We want people to grow with us. It's one of our core values is growth, and we really focus on helping our staff grow with us, just like we do for our participants. We want our participants to grow when they are whatever service they choose to be with us in an employment or uh, our community connections program. And we have the same belief in our staff. We want our staff to grow with us and mature with us and spend their career with us. And that is very challenging when we are up against uh, a very stagnant wage ceiling. Um, it's very challenging. That's why we have such a robust development. Um, I heard the development vice, our vice president of development goes after funding for us so that we can increase wages so that we can put a new roof on our building, so that we can fix our elevator when it's broken. These are all things that the government funding that we receive just can't address. So we have to have a very robust development program so that we can address all of those extra needs that we have. Do you feel that the, that the training ecosystem, the educational ecosystem, is sufficiently robust to meet your needs? I think that it is and it's growing. So uh, Lehigh Valley, Penn State Lehigh Valley just added a very specific program and I'm not sure if it's a four-year degree, degree program or a two-year degree program that's specific for direct service professionals. So the Lehigh Valley is responding to the growing demand for direct service professionals. And quite honestly, the degree, as you mentioned, there's this kind of this je ne sais quoi for an individual, um, a direct service professional coming to us. You can have a degree in lots of different things. We will train you. If you have that spark and you have that 
drive to want to help people reach their full potential, we will get you the training that you need in order to do that. And there are some specialties that we offer that you have to have a very specific degree, like our behavioral support services. Um, but for our employment services and for our community connections program and our pre-vocational workshop, we'll train you if this is the field that you want to go in. Um, it's, we have people that have master's degree in art that are providing exceptional care in our adult training facility and really helping people reach their, figure out what their art potential is. Um, and then we have people that have finance degrees that this is just what they want to do. They've decided to take a change in their career and we'll get them the training they need so that they can provide great care in our community. And this is a job that can't be exported to a low cost uh, manufacturer. Right. Um, it cannot be offshored. Right. It can't be uh, phoned in through electronic uh, means. There's no online equivalent. Um, it really is a, a position, if you're looking for a career mm -hmm. that is intensely satisfying and you have the fortitude to provide these types of services and you get the joy out of it, it is really a great, great piece of work to be doing. It really is, and the staff that we have are exceptional. What they bring to VIA, you can't bottle it, you can't, like you said, I, I can't find it anywhere else. Um, that's why it's so important to us to really engage our employees, the ones that are there, the 230 to 240 that we have right now, uh, and want, get them to want to stay with us. They could choose another career, but they choose to be with us. And so how do we keep them interested and engaged? And part of that is a really intense training program, trainings and things that they might be interested in, whether they want to focus on mental health or they want to focus on autism. We can help you find training in that. If you want to go back to school and, and get a degree and get an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree, we have an education reimbursement program. We're really invested in investing in our employees and investing in our staff so that they stay with us. What's next for VO over the next years? Mm -hmm. Where do you, how do you feel the organization will evolve and where do you want to evolve toward? Um, we've been in this community since 1952, so we have a lot of history here and we want to continue growing the services that we provide. Um, we've also served the Lehigh and Northampton County area for many years and part of our growth um, style is, is now we're creeping into Carbon, Mo Carbon Monroe and Pike County and also portions of Bucks and Berks County because there's a great need for services for people with disabilities, particularly in the northern area. There, there's a not a lot of services for people with disabilities in the northern tier and so it's important to us to grow that way as well. A, a truly important service to the community. Mm -hmm. Lisa Walkowitz, thank you so much for sharing the work of VIA of the Lehigh Valley and thank you so much for your insights. Well, thank you so much for having me.